Hi, this is Kevin Lee. In this presentation, I will show you how to create a dead, database deadlock situation and test a session recovery. Agenda for the video. Sometimes you want to test certain issues after you hit some deadlock issue. How does Informatica behave? So some customers uh, ask this question. So how to test a session recovery from their end? So the easiest way might be to use a database deadlock situation and then you can see how Informatica recover the session. For that purpose you can use this video uh, presentation uh, video KB or um, this K video KB also be used within Informatica so if some, we see that some customer hits deadlock issue so this video KB will help uh, us also to understand uh, when we see this kind of uh, de de database deadlock situation and how we can test also uh, session recovery after that. How to create a database deadlock? So basically what you have to do is use a database client first and then make sure that auto commit is set to off. And then um, you set current lock timeout 30, which means after 30 minutes, uh, 30 seconds, um, lock timeout will be released. So you update a row in a certain table. Since you didn't commit, the table will be locked. So let's say you have a database client or workflow after that, try to update the same row after that. What happens is since the table is that particular row is locked, it will wait for 30 seconds and then it will um, it will fail with the deadlock error. Let me demonstrate the issue. So I use database client. I use DB, uh, Toad for DB2. So here um, I have uh, I will just delete everything in the row except just one row. Okay, now I have, as you can see, I had many rows earlier, but now I have just one row to make it simple. And then set current lock timeout to 30 seconds. And then I update the row. Okay, then what it means is basically I have just one row, that row is locked. Then I use a power center mapping to update the same row using update strategy transformation. What I have to do is basically I just, uh, if it's not that particular row, I do insert. If it's that particular row, I do update. That's it. Okay, for this test, I just, I will use MQ source and then update to the target, same target database. And I also will update the same MQ target. Uh, different queue so that you can count the number and make sure that session recovery you won't uh, I don't miss any message or data in order to test this issue uh, this uh, clear deadlock situation I will just put some message into the queue so that um, the particular mapping can be executed Okay, I put uh, 250 messages into the queue. So this mapping consumed 250 messages and then put it into target table. So I should see 250 rows in the table and also I should see 250 uh, messages in, to, uh, in other queue. Which in my case uh, test scenario is Q2, so it will just load into Q2. So this is the workflow that reads from MQ and then puts into DB2 and other Q. I just run the workflow. As you can see, this workflow is still running, and after 30 seconds, um, since the row is locked, it will hit the same error.
Okay, it failed. So I will check the session log. Let's see if it hits the same deadlock issue that I mentioned earlier. Yeah, there you go. It says the current transaction has been rolled back because of a deadlock or timeout. This error comes from the IBM DB2. Now I will test the uh, session recovery and the session property. Make sure the recovery strategy is set to resume from last checkpoint. Since the workflow failed, the only thing you have to do is right click on the session and try to commit. I try to recover, recover task. So for this test, since that uh, row is still locked, uh, now I execute commit from the database client. It's not locked anymore, so that um, recovery session uh, will not hit the deadlock issue anymore. Now I came back to workflow monitor. I will try to recover the workflow. Now I just check the target queue, make sure that the same number of rows are um, updated and it came to the queue. So I see that it's the same number 250. So the session failed with the deadlock error. So and after that when I try to recover the session, I can see that uh, every data is loaded to the target queue. So recovery session was successful. Now I came back to PowerPoint. So once again, to test the session recovery, the only thing you have to make sure is that recovery strategy is set to region from last checkpoint so that you can recover the session. So when the workflow fail, you can right click on the session in workflow monitor recover. Or you can use PMC CMD stop workflow command, the same command you use, you use to start the workflow. It will do a warm start and then since the session fail um, PMCMD step workflow command will um, automatically recover try to recover the session that's about it for the present and uh, this presentation um, feel free to uh, contact us or give a comment uh, using our email address or our Twitter Thank you.